Hello, thank you for joining me. Now I want to talk about the assessments that you're giving to your students and where you can find the information. So you're gonna find the data and reports within that My Class tab. So you're gonna click on your My Class tab, pick the class that you're looking for the reports, go to My Class and click on Data and Reports. Once you're on Data and Reports, make sure that you are in the correct subject area, which is our Reading and Language Arts for Into Reading. When you scroll down, you're gonna notice a couple different reports. We have the assessment report, and this hones in based on each assessment that is given. It allows you to see the assessment proficiency data and the assessment average of each one of the assessments. Once you click on this, you can see which report and you can have a one-click answer or one-click step to that particular report. It gives you the date that it was given and the name of the assessment. And you can see the overall student average on this report. Over here for this assessment proficiency component, it lets you know the date range that we're discussing and what students are within that. Um, criteria. So we have, looks like Owen needs a little bit more assistance. And we can see that Viola, she has not been tested yet. It's an NA. That means she has not done an assessment. We're going to have to get on that one. Now, we can click into the individual assessment through this section right here. We could see that report. Or if you come down here, we can take a look at each individual report here. You have the student's name, their score overall on all the assessments that you have given, and then each one of the two assessments. So we're gonna take a look at this individual assessment report. Once you log in, you're gonna notice the name of the assessment, and also recommended groups. So based on how the students did on this assessment, I can, uh, the program will recommend differentiated groups to help with my instruction. I wanna take a look at the results first. So we can see you have the assessment proficiency information here, lets you know the date of the assessment, and I have one student who is in that 80 to 100% range. Over here, we can see the item that the student got incorrect, and this is system scored by items. We can click on that item and it'll actually tell us that particular question that the student got incorrect. And we can search also by standards. If you wanna search by standards, there is a drop down right here that will allow you to view this for which state you're in. I am in New York. <laughs> so I'm gonna click New York. And it looks like we need a little bit of assistance with that 2R1. And here is the particular standard, developing and answering our answer questions to demonstrate an uh, understanding of key ideas and details in text. And once we scroll down, you can see which particular questions the students got wrong. And here is the second page. Now I'm going to go back to our assessments in, oh, Sorry, wait, I wanna show you recommended groups. So it will give you that recommended groups. And um, if Viola took it, it would put her in the second group. When you're making groups, you can change the name. So I might put that name in there for what the student needs assistance with, maybe that particular standard, that LR2. And you can save your group and be done. 